Android 13 Beta 1 wasn't the only big release announced this week. We also saw the official release of Lineage OS 19, which is currently based on Android 12L, aka Android 12.1. If you're running an official version of Lineage OS 18.1 on your smartphone or tablet, and it has been transitioned to version 19, then you'll notice that the built-in updater is no longer working. We do not have an install button next to these updates that have been released, and instead we can only tap the info telling us that the updater can not be used to install this update, and instead you need to go to a special wiki page for more information. The devs behind the ROM coded the updater in this way because it cannot switch between two major versions of Android. Instead, we need to manually sideload this Lineage OS 19 update if you want to go from an official version of Lineage OS 18.1 to the newly released version. And in this video, I'm going to show you how this upgrade is done without losing any of your personal data. You can see I have set this phone up in a certain way so that it is easy to detect if personal data has been lost or moving the default locations of widgets. We have applications installed and set up. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through updating your phone from Lineage OS 18.1 to the newly released Lineage OS 19 using the official upgrade path. This means that we are using Lineage OS recovery in this example, but other custom recoveries like TWRP are likely going to work as well since those have ADB sideload features built in. However, there are some things we need to have set up ahead of time. For example, we need to go ahead and download the Lineage OS 19 firmware that has, that has been built for our device. And we also need to download a Google Apps package for Android 12 that also matches your CPU architecture. And for most of us, that will be ARM64. And finally, you're going to want to download any other add-ons, such as Magisk, that you're going to want to reinstall on this device. We're going to need to take all of these files that have been downloaded, and we're going to need to store them, either copy and paste or a cut and paste, and move them into the same folder on our PC as our ADB and Fastboot tools. So in the video description below, I'm gonna be including a number of links. For example, I'm gonna be including the download page for Lineage OS. I'm gonna be including the recommended Google Apps package downloads, which right now are from Mind the G Apps. And you're also gonna find things like previous tutorials I've done, like installing ADB and Fastboot tools, and the download page for Magisk as well. So when you're ready, we're going to go ahead and boot our Lineage OS 18.1 device into recovery mode. Now, if you have not enabled advanced reboot, you can go ahead and do that now via the settings. Advanced reboot will give you a number of options whenever we tap the restart button. And we're going to select the recovery option right here. You can also do the button combination or the ADB command in order to reboot into recovery mode as well. The goal is just to get our phone booted into Lineage OS recovery. And then we're going to go ahead and connect this phone to the PC with a USB cable. So here are a couple of the downloads that I mentioned. Here is the Lineage OS 19.1 firmware file that we downloaded for my Google Pixel 4a. 
And then here is the mind of the gapt package. These are the two files that we're going to copy and paste into our ADB and Fastboot Tools folder. These two files need to be in the same folder as the ADB and Fastboot Tools files, those exe files. On the phone, we're going to go into ADB sideload mode, which means we're going to tap on the apply update button or option, and then we're going to tap the apply from ADB button. And you should see some text at the bottom telling you to use the ADB sideload command to continue. So again, we are putting these two files in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. We are then keeping our phone in ADB sideload mode so that we can type out the command ADB space sideload. And then we can just start typing out the file name for Lineage OS. We want to make sure that we're typing, we're getting the Lineage OS 19.1 zip file. Now if you want to type out that whole file name, you can. But if you want, you can likely just start typing out the name and then press the tab button on the keyboard to auto complete the file name. And we can continue pressing the tab button until we have the file name that we want to sideload. So once we have typed this out, we're going to press enter on the keyboard. And this is going to begin sending this firmware file from the PC to our Lineage OS smartphone. On the device, we're being told that Lineage OS recovery is verifying the update package. And we're just going to wait. We're not going to touch the phone. We're not going to mess with the USB cable. We want to make sure the device maintains a solid connection to the PC while this process is happening. Now you could see this percentage get stuck, so to speak, at 47%. But if we look at our phone, we can see that it has gone from verifying the update package to now it is installing the update. And it's doing this in two different steps. Right now we see it listed as step one of two. And again, we're just going to wait patiently. And after a couple of minutes, we're going to see that transition over to step two of two on the smartphone. Again, we're seeing this stuck at 47% on the screen, but we saw our phone go from step one of two to step two of two. And then you're going to see, you likely are going to see the total X for time, say 1.00x, and it go back to the prompt right here once the side load is finished on the phone. And once that first A to B side load is finished, you're going to see our phone go back to the menu here, asking us if we want to apply from ADB again. However, however, we are done right now. We're going to tap the back arrow to go back to the main screen. Now we're going to reboot back into recovery mode. So let's tap on advanced and then tap reboot to recovery. We're going to see the smartphone restart. And assuming you have Lineage OS recovery installed, it's just going to boot us right back into that recovery. If you have something like TWRP installed, then you're going to reboot from that custom recovery back into TWRP. So if you do not want any Google apps installed, we can go ahead and tap the reboot system now option. Go ahead and boot into Lineage OS 19 and set up our device.
but earlier I mentioned that we are also going to install a Google Apps package in this video. And to do that, again, after rebooting back into recovery mode, we are going to go back into ADB sideload mode. So we're going to tap apply update, and then we're going to tap apply from ADB. So when we are back in ADB sideload mode, we're going to go back to our command prompt, PowerShell, or Windows terminal and type out that command ADB sideload again. And then we're going to flash the add-on package that we want. In this case, we're going to flash the mind the G apps package. And again, we need to make sure that we're installing Android 12, Android 12.1 their version of mind the gapps package so again we can start typing the name of that file name out and then press the tab button to auto complete that file name and to press the tab button again if needed to make sure we have the proper file name here and when that once that's ready we're just going to press enter on the keyboard Just like before, it's going to send this zip file. And on the phone, we're being told that it is verifying the update package. Since this zip file is not made by the Lineage OS developers, we're going to get this signature verification failed message. And we just want to tap on yes to continue. We're going to get that same message if we try to flash Magisk. And again, you just want to tap on yes to confirm. So here we have the Mind the GApps installer. We can follow along and see exactly what's happening with this script. And once it says done, we can then tap the back arrow to go back to the Lineage OS or the Lineage Recovery main menu. Now from here, you could reboot back into recovery mode and you could flash Magisk but I definitely recommend you boot into the updated version of Lineage OS 19 first before you go in and install other add-ons. So once we are at this main menu, we're just going to tap the Reboot System Now button. You're going to see that turn off our phone and then go through the normal boot process. You could see this boot logo take a little bit longer than normal. You have to remember that we did just install a brand new update. So we haven't transitioned to an entirely different version of Android. So it makes sense that this boot process is taking a little bit longer than normal. You can see that the Lineage OS is going to finish up that system update. You can tell that we have already changed operating system versions with the new wallpaper. And you can also see that the changes we had made is still here. Our widgets have moved. Our apps are still installed. Yet we are on a entirely different version of Lineage OS. Lineage OS 19 based on Android 12.1. So now that we've confirmed everything is working, if we wanted to go back and install Magisk now, we just need to boot back into recovery mode, go into ADB sideload mode, and do an ADB sideload command with the Magisk zip file just like we did with the firmware and the Google Apps package in this video. 
Now this is showing you how to go from an official version of Lineage OS 18.1 to an official version of Lineage OS 19. There's likely not going to be an unofficial build that has an upgrade path to the newest official version. However, sometimes that is the case and you will find those details in the XDA form for that uh, unofficial ROM thread. However, you should not expect that to happen. This upgrade path is not supporting that. What I've shown you in this video is the official Lineage OS upgrade path to version 19.